morning YouTube people anyway uh, thanks for watching guys thanks for sticking in with me on this project crack pipe <clears throat> so I just hosed the wife's car down and then uh, washed it didn't really wash it wash it but hosed it down and wiped it off um, and then did some laundry so uh, today what I'm going to tackle is I'm gonna clean up all this um, as you guys know I bought this paint to spray paint uh, my bumper to match for the fourth gen that's sitting out there in the barn that's where I park it on my days off or while I'm working them I should say anyway I uh, bought this so what I will have to paint though is the uh, black trim that's on the bottom of the bumper um, so I guess I will be using that um, and then this is for the tractor and then I'll probably use this um, with with this uh, paint maybe not maybe um, anyway uh, yeah pretty much just want to clean up this mess maybe fire up the welder weld in some tabs or weld in some uh, plate down there I don't know yet I think I'm gonna go to the hardware store the local hardware store that's by me and see what they have as far as steel as far as metal and uh, I don't know it's just right down the street just cruise there see what the deal is <clears throat> so it's almost 8 o'clock I got two hours to clean um, 10 o'clock go in the house shave face shave my head and then uh, 12 o'clock we're gonna leave and head to uh, the airport to dump me off for the next eight days um, but yeah um yeah so I'm just gonna clean up all this crap uh, and I will be back once that is done well guys as you guys know me I couldn't leave well enough alone clean most of the toolbox off and then started opening drawers again anyway decided to make uh, those chingideras for the radiator so as you can see there's one right here and as you guys know me I was gonna go to I was gonna go check the hardware store by me to see what kind of steel they had and uh, you guys know me doing this truck on the cheap so when I can reuse steel I reuse it so remember the uh, pieces I cut off here cut it off there so what I ended up doing so, as you can see, <clears throat> this used to go there. So I ended up just bending it the way I wanted it. Building a little drop. And, uh, yeah. So, these are going to hold. I checked it. I mocked it up in there. It fits in there a little bit lower than I like. But then once you add these pieces here with the little rubber uh, I think it's gonna bring it up exactly where I want so let me get these bolted in here and uh, put that radiator in and see what it looks like alright here we go here is the radiator installed Those brackets are in so originally that bracket was about right here so I had to move it over. <clears throat> if you can see that hole, that's where it was. So I had to draw a new hole over here because 
this outlet here was going to hit the fan. So I, I still kind of want to kind of want to see if I can drop it a little more but for the most part it sits sits where I was wanting it to sit I had to cut this bracket down and bend it so I had to bend it here it did uh you know it sat up here I guess the radiator it originally sat way up here because it was just flat then it tapered down 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 to about right here and then came flat and that's where it bolted to so the radiator sat probably back there let me go get the piece I cut off I gotta try to do this quick because it's almost 10 o'clock so this is how much I cut off so as you can see it was right there which means it pushed it back basically that much farther. So the radiator was sitting way back there. So anyway, I'm good with that. Uh, so, yeah. Just trying to put some tools away before I'm going to leave. Anyway, uh, yeah, so when I get back, man, I wanted to make a little list, a little dry erase list. Maybe I'll do it on the window. It rolls up. Oh, so, geez. when I get back, I want to do wiring to get it running. Then I want to do the rear shock mounts uh, what else did I want to do I can't really remember I know I was gonna tackle the radiator so that's done um, basically we want to get it running and then we'll put the bed on I don't even know if you guys can see any of this or not so, install the bed. So, one, two, three. Uh, it's kind of hard to read those. But anyway, that's, that is going to be the plan for my next half being off. Um, and then I also need to <clears throat> somehow install... So I'm probably going to do an elbow in here. So I got to do, I don't know, I might put the bed on first, but before I take the cab off and do whatever I'm going to do, um, I have to install, because I want to have this gas in, in here. So I'm going to do a straight pipe. So it's going to be a straight pipe all the way down to probably about right here. Cut a hole in here, do a rubber little grommet just like this do a hole here and then run the pipe here with a 90 so I kind of want to keep an angle keep the angle obviously and then keep the angle going down so I might have to come up a little higher so anyway that's the plan for next half oh also I have to do finish drilling the holes for the front uh, leaf spring hanger. So, holes for the leaf spring hanger. Anyway guys, I gotta go, I gotta shave, I gotta do a bunch of crap. Um, anyway guys, thanks for sticking in there, thanks for watching this video, watch until the end. Uh, that's gonna be it. Alright guys, make sure you guys subscribe up here. Check out my boy One and Glenn down here. Uh, Watch my last video over here, and uh, as always in the description, if you guys want to send me some stuff, whatever it is, if I don't even care, uh, yeah, anyway, send me some stuff, my P.O. box is down below, anyways guys, alright guys, thanks for watching, later.